Hey, this is Don, Don Kryptonium, and I tell you something, I did figure out crypto. This is why I'm going to come to you today and share some of that Don Kryptonium wisdom. We are going to talk derivatives and we are going to talk great strategy. Because while in Cosmos you have tons of organizations that don't have strategy and don't know what they're doing, there is Stride. And Stride truly knows what they do. You know, this is why if you like money and if you like Don Don Kryptonium, you know what to do. Smash the like button and the fortune fairy will come to you and pump your bags. If you don't do it, it will not happen. So Stride Zone is liquid staking zone. And to be honest, they are dominating. And the best about Stride is that the success of the platform doesn't necessarily depend on the token because Stride Zone business model is printing money. This is why in this video, we are going to talk first what's most important for liquid staked assets, right? We are going to talk airdrop because Stride Zone has additional airdrop for you. That's one. And we are going to talk the market potential of the Stride Zone. So when it comes to derivatives, I tell you something, the DeFi and bringing the pools is not the greatest opportunity for you, you know, because when it comes to liquid state asset, ST Atom slash Atom, it will not generate you the full potential revenues unless you are incentivized, you know, but this is very important for winning the market because liquidity is super important for derivatives. So, for example, when you look at the osmosis, and if you look at the pools, the ST atom and atom is the third largest liquidity. You know, so for example, using Stride for you and generated in, in the lending borrowing platforms like UMI is actually better opportunity for you, but it cannot be done as long as the liquidity is not deep. Because if the liquidity is not deep, it could fluctuate with the price a lot. So this is why for Stride, it's very important to build this very deep liquidity of the derivative so the price will not be fluctuating and users can safely use it in the platform like UMI. So you can see ST Atom is the third one. So we know Stride more likely is to dominate the derivative of Atom. Look at the Osmo, 3.7 million pool. They are also dominating the Osmo pool. And the third thing that I noticed, they went to Luna and quickly dominated it, becoming the fourth largest liquidity on Astroport. And before that, you have stablecoin, another stablecoin pair, then stable, two stablecoin pairs, which is super important over here. And at number four is Luna slash ST Luna. So what they do, they strategize and make sure all of those assets that they offer, right? So all of those assets that they offer of this page, which is Atom, Osmo, Stars, Juno, will have deep liquidity, so those assets can be safe to use. There is always danger of depegging, but this danger of depegging is larger if you have long unbonding period, you know, because if people quickly sell, it goes down. If the liquidity is huge, it's very unlikely. And with that, Cosmos actually positioned itself much better than, for example, Ethereum, when this unbonded time will be really huge. And as of now, I think still stake Ether price is below Ether price, simply because you still cannot unbond Ethereum. And when it will be there, it will be very long. But there is even something more bullish, you know, there is quite a chance that with Babylon, the staking time within the Cosmos ecosystem will be much shorter. And when it happens, the chance of unbonding of the price with the deep liquidity will be really driven to the minimum, making all derivative market much safer. And despite the fact that, you know, we maybe don't see the stride doing something, but people use their product and they become one of the most popular IBC chain. So if you look at the IBC volume uh, in the US dollars, uh, the stride is as number six. When you look at the IBC transfers, the stride is actually most popular here, which shows you that people more and more want to use derivatives because they want to stay liquid at all times. If you have missed that, the stride also have additional airdrop. How is it possible? Not everyone 
claim the initial airdrop. So what they did, instead of taking it back, they decided to give it away as the additional airdrop. So you can check the airdrop and it's the same steps that you had to do at the very first. So start claiming. So first claim a little bit of the stride, then stake your stride and then liquid stake on stride. So for example, use tiny amount of atom and get the rest of your stride. Once you do it, the only one validator that you should absolutely delegate to is Don Don Kryptonium, the greatest validator in the entire world. So remember to support Don Don Kryptonium on all chains. You should delegate to only one Don Don Kryptonium. Do you want to delegate to the man with no testosterone and no wisdom teeth? I guess not. Delegate to Don Don Kryptonium. Wisdom teeth are still here. And to be honest, I feel the tooth number nine on this side is, is actually growing, which shows you the true power of Don Kryptonium. The thing I noticed, the diversification proposal just passed. So Stride decided to diversify and change 3 million of the assets into USDC to make sure their business is sustainable. So it's really great because I didn't see other blockchains doing that. One thing I'm waiting, I'm still waiting for this proposal to enable sharing revenues with the stakers. So we are still waiting. And with that, I must tell you about the real potential of money here because I was telling this, but now we are going to go there and you are going to see real potential. So when you go to the Stride total market cap, it's uh, around $40 million. It's a lot and it's not a lot. To be honest, with the current total value locked, I, I would even say it's maybe overvalued, but because the liquid staking is still didn't get widely adapted, you know, when we have this occlusion model and more people will start and move the staked atoms into liquid staked assets, I, I probably will do it. I, I can't be bothered with traditional staking because I will go and leverage myself in UMI, right? And many people will do it because people are degens and you can expect that. So let's go to calculator. You know, this is very simple. And let's speculate of the full potential of liquid staked assets. So we have the Cosmos Hub, $3.5 billion. You know, total staked assets around two I believe below 2 billion, right? They dominate Terra now. They dominate Osmosis. How many chains we are going to get? We are going to get Celestia, right? We are going to get DYDX. And more likely, these all chains will offer liquid staking. You know, um, to be honest, um, it's not about success of the Atom, but it's about more of these chains coming to IBC. So how big is market potential there, right? Um, it could be maybe 100 billion, right, at some point. But let's go crazy, but let's get not too crazy. Let's speculate that the stride will get $10 billion total value locked within a few years. It's crazy, but we could see ourselves there, right? Or maybe not. You can put any number. So let's speculate they will get 10 billion dollars. I was actually calculating before with 100 billion because I, I do think, you know, uh, Ethereum has this potential market cap, you know, I don't think Lido is able to drive the adoption as well as uh, as some would think, you know, the, the, the marketing could be better. So if we get 10 billion, let me let me check if, if I did this correctly. So this is 10 billion. And let's speculate the APR is not as crazy as it's right now, because now we have over 20%. This is not sustainable, okay? This is not sustainable. Let's make it 8%. 8%, uh, we, we could see it happening, right? So do times 0 0.08. With that, we get this number of 800 million dollars. Stride charge 10% on that. So let's do times 10% and we end with 80 million dollars over here. So let's say if 8% yielding in diversified assets, maybe it's crypto, let's do like like 20%, per percent, okay? That would mean that the stride could be maybe half billion dollars would be worth. And within a few years, if that would happen, I guess 
it's pretty solid. So this is how you can calculate the potential future revenues, but it depends if the strat will be able to strategize that well as they do it right now and really capture the massive market because now they yield in crazy, you know, Evmos over 130%. And imagine what happens if Evmos appear here. When Luna appear here, you will be able to loop it. And on Evmos, instead of 130%, you can go probably to 300%. And of course, with massive risk and risks of liquidation. So I hope this video was clear to you, showed you how does it work, potentials, risks, and of course, money. Because this is Don, Don Kryptonium. So I do hope these videos explain to you a few things about importance of derivatives. Why derivatives will get the adoption? Because this is Don Don Kryptonium. Remember, like this video, delegate to Don Don Kryptonium, subscribe, comment, and interact with Don on the one Don Kryptonium. Till the next time.